I think we can now say that this wing is officially on. I've uh, I've had to miss two bolts out from down here because you can't really get to them, and also that the brackets that I've got to uh, fasten the wing on are uh, missing bolts anyway. So uh, I'm in two minds whether to fit that one or start building that one up regarding these here the the headlamp bowls that was on originally were plastic so they'd obviously been replaced at some point and uh, so I, mean, I, I don't know whether to uh, I mean yeah they'd been replaced at some point so I bought a new set simply because you get all the fixings and it's all going to go back as uh, as should. But uh, I'll show you how to to build one of them up in a bit. So down here we've got all the parts that we need to build up a front wing. Right, start off with we've got two nice new indicator lights which uh, we'll put to one side for the minute we've got the we've got the washer bottle which is a nice easy job to go back together along with the motor put that down here i've got the uh, the grill for the uh, heater intake we've got two uh, Allergen conversion headlights, which I fitted oh, a long time ago. That can be binned. So can all that. They want spraying green. And to one side we have the And then here's where all the fun and games start because before we didn't have any side lights it simply did not work so I think we'll leave side I know I did replace some of these and by the look of it I didn't replace that one so I'll put that to one side now nah, that's been replaced them too right, so, well, that, yeah. So I reckon them two can go straight in. Let's clean all them. Oh, that one can't. That one's broken. Right then, so... Uh, we've got a load of screws, we've got a load of bits and bobs. I've got some of these plates here which are repair panels for the broken wings which uh, I think we're for the driver's side but anyway so I think we'll start by, by fitting the uh, headlamp bowls like I mentioned earlier I've painted behind the the thing you can see the paint spewing out from there and it's a rather simple job. Oh. Yeah. I'll turn that off for the time being. Well, that's now gone in place. If, uh, if you have trouble getting that uh, rubber grommet out of your old unit, if it's plastic. Nice simple top tip of getting the grommet out. You can find it. Yeah, just stand on it. You get the you get the grommet out and uh, and just feed it through. And uh, now we have got to uh, fit the uh, light. If you're in a right-hand drive country. 
you need to make sure that the two adjusters are, are here and here. If you're in a left hand drive country you need to make sure the adjusters are there and at the top. So uh, this is the uh, this is the light here. It's, uh, it was fitted for about 12 months before the vehicle came off the road. As you can see, it's mucky from the back because there's a got a big hole inside it. So I'll get that fitted. Right, so we're slowly getting there then with the uh, 1973 Land Rover. I've uh, built up this side here uh, with the lights and whatever. And looks uh, very good indeed. Only trouble is I've had to, uh, I've had to bodge that one. That's how it should fit. And that's how I've had to get that one because the, the wings are just too corroded. Uh, I've put the wire in through there for now, I'll go through that later, I'm not bothered about that today. I'm just about to start building the other side up. I'll probably have another half an hour or so on this and then uh, clear off home. What well, is looking flipping marvellous, Harry. I've also put some wing mirrors on, on the uh, tops of the wings there. I've not had these on before, I normally have them on the door, but I'm going to try them because they might just give me a bit more. Uh, uh, a bit more of a, view, of a view down the side of the vehicle but I can't really set them up until it's fully rebuilt and uh, but it will be out for now because it's a bit, uh, bit dodgy driving without mirrors when you're just shunting the vehicle about I'll, uh, I'll just start to roll if you've not watched any of the other videos, this engine's a Discovery 200DI. 200DI. It's not run today. It's today. started today. And last uh, run a couple of days ago. Well as it used to, and there's a great big water leak now. Look, I've sprung a leak. Look, that must be because of while well, I've been playing about with the front panel, I must have disturbed the hose. I'll investigate it now. Yeah, it's diesel leaking from one of the injectors from the return, so I'll. Uh, I'll sort that out in a bit. I'll just sort that pile of bolts out that came with the vehicle when I bought it. Well, yeah, it's looking uh, pretty smart now, if I do say so myself. What the hell was that? Anyway, that's the uh, the roof. And if you look up there, that's where. An old clock used to be. It used to look over the estate. I'm showing you that because uh, this building may soon be demolished. So uh, there you go. Look at them oak beams up there. Now, how did they get them up there? 
Well, anyway, never mind. Let's get on with this.